Ever since the original trilogy has been re-released in 2004, fans have been complaining about the fact that Anakin's ghost actor got changed from Sebastian Shaw to Hayden Christensen. Not only do a lot of people dislike Christensen as an actor, even though I personally believe he did a great job, a lot of people say that it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't make sense because Anakin didn't die in his mid-twenties, Christensen was playing a 23-year-old Anakin while he appeared as a ghost, but in his mid-forties, which matched up with the, you know, the middle-aged Shaw. However, I have a theory about why this is, so that's what I'll go over in this video. And this is the first video that I've done in a long time that is actually scripted, so I have a script written out for this video. So leave in the comments if you like, you know, if you like having a script, or if you like me just kind of, you know, just kind of coming up with it by myself. So to start off, the out-of-universe explanation is that Lucas probably made these changes to more closely link the prequels with the originals. If someone who is not a huge Star Wars fan and is watching the saga for the first time when they see Hayden Christensen's ghost, they will know that this is, you know, that that is the ghost of Anakin Skywalker, the Sith Lord Darth Vader, who came back to the light side in the last moments of his life. These inexperienced Star Wars watchers would recognize Christensen from as well as Anakin in episodes 2 and 3. In this sense, I agree with Lucas. But for hardcore, you know, hardcore Star Wars fans like me, when you think about it, it doesn't make sense that both Yoda and Obi Wan both appear as they did back, you know, as they did at the end of their lives, where Anakin appears like he did while he was still a young Jedi prodigy. But, as stated before, I have a theory about this. If we look at real-world situations, a lot of sources say that in, he in, you know, in heaven, the afterlife, everyone appears to be around 30 or 30, you know, 33. This is probably because the Bible says that Jesus died at 33, therefore everyone in the afterlife appears the same age as Jesus. Now, since Star Wars is known um, to take several things from the Bible, I think an element of this could appear in the afterlife of the Jedi. Now, obviously, none of the Jedi who appears as ghosts are 33. However, I think in both real life heaven and in, you know, in the Jedi afterlife, people don't have to appear as they did when they died. My personal theory is that Force Ghosts aren't restricted to a certain age. So if a Jedi could appear as any age he wanted in the afterlife, then wouldn't it make sense that a Jedi would want to look like he did during the best time of his life? Think about it. If Anakin could change his age, he would probably want to look like he did during his happiest time period, you know, his happiest time period in his life. And I'm pretty sure the time of Revenge of the Sith was the happiest time in his life. During this movie, before he fell to the dark side, he was married and deeply in love with Padme with a child on the way, not to mention a close friendship with both Obi-Wan and Palpatine. Sure, he was frustrated with the Jedi during this time, but I still think he was happiest during this movie. You might say that the, you know, the happiest time in his life was right before he died in Return of the Jedi, but Anakin was scared, you know, he was scarred, burned, and had no organic limbs, so why would he want to appear as a crippled and injured corpse in the afterlife? In a way, Shaw's ghost makes less sense because Anakin never looked like that. Sure, the ages matched up, but Anakin never had a full head of hair, four, org four organic limbs, and unscarred skin while in in his mid 40s. Okay, so someone may say that if Jedi could change their ages, why did Obi-Wan and Yoda look like they did when they died? Simple. For Obi-Wan, he was happiest when he died. He was completely content with his death, with his death, sacrificing himself for Luke, and speaking of Luke, Obi-Wan was happiest in A New Hope because he had found a new hope for the Jedi Order, and that the Jedi could finally be, you know, they could finally be revived again. This is why he appears as he did in episode, um, as episode 4, as his 57-year-old self. As for Yoda... It's entirely possible he was happiest during he, when he died in Return of the Jedi, probably for the same reasons that Obi-Wan was happiest, but it could be that Yoda is actually appearing as his younger self. If you think about it, Yoda does not look any different during the prequels. He looks exactly the same as he did in the originals. So it's possible that Yoda is appearing as he did in his early, eight, you know, in, in his early 800s or in his 700s. So that was my theory on why is Anakin's ghost young in Return of the Jedi. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave in the comments if you enjoyed me reading from a script or if you like me just kind of coming up with it on the spot. I'm not sure which one I prefer. However, if a lot of people prefer the script, I might, you know, I might use that for more videos, possibly on my roller coaster videos as well. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you want. There'll be more content coming up soon, and I will see you all next time.